Welcome back everyone, Patrick here, moving on to another max and min word problem. So we have to determine the max area of a triangle if the sum of the triangle's base and height is 20 centimeters. So let's start off with a diagram over here. We have a triangle and this triangle has a certain base and it also has a certain height. And we're told that the sum of the base and the height is 20 centimeters. So this here is like our constraint. And what are we trying to find the maximum of? We're trying to find the maximum area. And we know that the area of a triangle is equal to base times height divided by two. Another way to write this, and probably the format I'm gonna use in this question is one half base times height like that, just so we could separate all of the expressions. This and this are the exact same thing. So we want to try to find the maximum area over here. But what's the problem at this point? Well, notice that we're using two variables. We're working with two variables, but we can use the constraint over here to make it in terms of one variable. So we can make it in terms of the base or we can make it in terms of the height. I'm going to make it in terms of the base, so that's the variable we'll use. So what we'll do is we'll isolate for this height over here. So we'll bring the B over and we'll have 20 minus B. And then we could plug in this expression for the height over here. So we'd end up with the area being one half times the base 20 minus the base like that. And now notice we have the area in terms of one variable, in terms of just the base. Now let's expand this. So this one half base, let's expand it in the bracket. So we'd end up with what? One half times 20 is 10. So we'd have 10 times the base. One half base times negative B would give us negative one half B squared like that. And then we could rewrite this. So let me write this up here. We'll have the area equaling negative one over two B squared. So I'm gonna put this in front plus 10 B like that. And so notice now we have the area in terms of just the base and notice that it ends up being a quadratic function that we're working with. And so from here, we can find the maximum of this quadratic. Notice that the quadratic will have a maximum because the A value is negative. So we know this quadratic is gonna be opening down. So it's going to have a max point. And to find the maximum, let's take this standard form quadratic, convert it to vertex form with completing the square. So what we would do is we would first factor out, let me actually change this to decimals. First, just gonna make the uh, writing easier. So we would take out the negative 0.5 from both of these. So we would end up with B squared. Now what's 10B divided by negative 0.5? 10 divided by negative 0.5 would give us negative 20. And then we have the B right there. So we'd end up with minus 20B like that. And then there's no C value in this case. So it's like a plus zero right there. And then what we do, we take the negative 20 divided by two, square it. So we'd end up with negative 10 squaring that, that would give us 100. So we'd end up with negative 0.5 b squared minus 20b plus 100 minus 100 like that. And then what we could do, we could take the negative 100 out, so we can multiply it by the negative 0.5, so then we'd have negative 0.5 b squared minus 20b plus 100. And then negative 100 times negative 0.5 would give us what, positive 50, like that. And then we would end up with, let me write the final answer over here, we'd end up with the area equaling negative 0.5. This is gonna be a perfect square trinomial, b minus 10 squared, and then that's gonna be plus 50, like that, right? So this and this, those are the exact same thing. We took the standard form, uh, converted it to vertex form, 
And now that it is in vertex form, we can get the vertex. So the vertex is going to be what? 10 and 50. So the, uh, the base is 10 and then the area would be 50. And that's the maximum point. So the maximum area is happening when the base is equal to 10, right? So that's actually the answer, the maximum area right there. Now, if they were asking for the actual dimensions of the triangle, well, we know that the base would be 10. And then we could find the height over here because it's gonna be 20 minus the base of 10, which would give us 10 as well. So the height would be 10 right here because the sum of the base and the height has to be 20. That's our constraint. So if the base is 10, then the height has to be 10, right? So with that constraint, you're gonna get a maximum area if the base is 10 and then the height is 10. And notice that when you multiply these, it's gonna give you 100 divided by two, it would give you that maximum area of 50. So there's a bunch of different combinations. If we were to take this and we were to graph it, right? So we'd have the base, we'd have the area. Now, because there's no C value, we know it's definitely gonna be going through the vertex. It's gonna look something like this, right? If we were to put this in factored form, we could take out a negative 0.5b and we'd be left with b minus 20 like that. So we'd have zero and then this intercept would be 20. And then this vertex here is happening at 10 and 50 like that, right? So there's different combinations. So for example, like let's say we picked a base. So this is happening at a base of 10, right? But what if the base was like five, let's say, then we'd end up with an area right here approximately. And if the base was five, uh, let's write this over here. So let's say the base was five and then the height would be what, 15? What would be the area then? Well, five times 15 would give us 75 then divided by two would give us 37.5. So notice it's not gonna give us as big of an area as this 50 over here. So you got these different combinations of areas depending on the base that you pick. And depending on the base that you pick, you're gonna get a corresponding height. And then on the y-axis here, those are gonna be the different areas. But the maximum area, which is what they want, is gonna happen right here when the base is 10, and it's gonna give you a maximum area of 50 centimeters squared.